What's up guys? Samsung's Galaxy Note 20 Plus will apparently have a 4500 mAh battery. But what about slightly smaller Note 20? Back in April, words on the streets was 4000 mAh. Now though, it looks like Samsung has managed to cram a bit more juice into the Note 20 cell. After digging through the Chinese 3G certification database, the enterprising folks at Sam Mobile have figured out that the model number for the battery that's going to be used in the Chinese version of the Note 20 is EBBN980ABY. Oh, and its capacity is 4300 mAh. And yeah guys, this is the confirmed news. That's marginally better than what we thought before. And in this 5G fight world, we now live in every MAH counts, so to speak. This also means that the smaller Note 20's battery won't be far in size from the Note 20's which makes sense if you consider that the former is expected to have a 6.7 inch screen with the latter going for 6.9 inches. That's not a huge size delta so it's unsurprising that the battery delta would be similarly small. And yeah guys, here we have another leak regarding Samsung Galaxy Note 20. With the renders of the Galaxy Note 20 Plus out, it's now time to talk about the colors. According to an inside source, the Note 20 will come in grey, green and copper, while the Note 20 Plus will be selling in black and copper. Samsung might be looking for more simplified and less flashy colors this time around, but it's not inconvincible for the company to release more color options after the initial launch. Reportedly, the copper variant won't be the same as the one we saw on the Galaxy Note 9 though. The new copper will be learning more towards goldish hue. Keep in mind, the color option that I mentioned could be just a part of a whole palette. The company will likely introduce more than just four color options for both of the handset, so we will keep our eyes peeled for more information as much as the launch date approaches. Both phones should arrive around August with 120Hz Super AMOLED Infinity O screens, S Pen Stylus, 16 gigs of RAM and Exynos 992 or Snapdragon A65 chipset, depending on the market. You should also expect fire charging at least at 25 watt and no headphone jacks. So yeah, that's it for today guys. Now what's your thoughts on this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And yeah, smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more latest news. And as always, I will catch you tomorrow in the next one. Peace out.